welcome back to Everyday Barbecue. My name is Mike. Today's t-shirt, uh, this is a small baseball organization. It's a volunteer organization that uh, I volunteer for every year. And I just wanted to bring it up because if you've ever considered coaching or volunteering for any of these small leagues around, my son plays ball for this league and I've volunteered. I've been on the board and I've helped coach and do lots of stuff. It's very fulfilling. And there's a lot of kids out there that need your help, need to get on the field. So please think about doing that, okay? Anyway, we're going to move on to today's meal. I did an awesome brisket this weekend, and I didn't film it because we had company over both days, Saturday and Sunday. And I always put family and friends first, so I didn't really do anything. I took a few photos, that was it, and I'll include those here in this video. But we've got some leftover brisket. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and have some brisket quesadillas for dinner. So what we have is some uh, brisket that was left over that I chopped up. I've got some Monterey Jack shredded cheese and I add a little bit of taco seasoning to the cheese just to give it a little more flavor. And just like in my pizza quesadilla video, which if you haven't seen by the way, you need to check out, I'm gonna use this spray butter to get a good crust on the quesadilla on both sides. And instead of pizza sauce, in this case, we're just gonna line the bottom of these uh, with some barbecue sauce. So, uh, of course, we need tortillas. That's a no-brainer. Hang in there, I'm gonna put one of these together and I'm gonna show you how we do it, okay? All right, so we're back, and I'm just gonna start this off with some Sweet Baby Ray's here. I'm gonna lay some of that down and just spread it around on the bottom. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And next, we're gonna add some cheese. I could just smell these flavors coming together already, the cheese and the barbecue sauce. This is really going to be good. All right, now let's throw some brisket in here. And I've got quite a bit of brisket left, so I'm going to probably be pretty generous about what we put in here. All right, let me get a little bit more cheese around the edges. Just like in my pizza quesadilla video, I never really know how far close to the edges I want to go with ingredients because I don't really want it to overlap on my griddle and then have a humongous mess to clean up but usually it ends up melting and spreading out and coming out pretty well all right so now that we've got that I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little more of this there we go we're gonna put this on top and I'm going to spray both sides with my spray butter here. The first uh, thing I'll do is spray the griddle with it and then lay that down. Uh, and then I'll spray the top for when I flip it over and give it a flip. So that's one. I'm going to do the rest of these and get out to the griddle. I'll meet you out there and show you how we do it. All right, we're out here at the Blackstone Griddle. And what I'm going to do, I assembled a few quesadillas. I've got some cheese ones in there for the kids too but I'm gonna start by laying down a layer of this spray butter on the griddle. And I've preheated this to a medium heat. And we're gonna cover that surface with that butter. And we're just gonna start getting these laid down here real gently. Keep everything together. cheese another cheese and then we got our last brisket case yeah all right so I'm gonna let these go for a bit what I'm looking for here is a nice golden brown color on the bottom side and once I get that I'm gonna be ready to turn these over and right before I'll turn them over I'm gonna hit the top side with some of this butter so I'll bring you back when we're ready to flip. 
All right, so these are about halfway done, and you can see I did this to the cheese already, the cheese quesadillas, but I'm gonna spray these brisket quesadillas with some butter here. And then we are gonna go ahead and flip this. So you get a nice crust there, I and mean, that's really what really helps you make these so good, is that little buttery crust on the outside. All right. We're gonna let these finish melting down and I won't bore you with that process or taking them off. I'll just uh, bring you guys back inside when I have these off and cut up for a taste test, okay? All right, everybody, I got these quesadillas off the Blackstone and just take a look at what we have here. There's a nice crust on the outside and I'm gonna go ahead and cut into one of these. You can serve uh, this with anything you want. I made some homemade salsa the other day a client gave me a bunch of vegetables out of their garden, some tomatoes and whatnot, and I, I made some homemade salsa, so we're going to use some of that. And this is some of my brisket gravy that I had left over, and that's going to be super good. So let me go ahead and cut into this. You can hear that crust when I cut through it. And don't make fun of me if these pieces aren't all even. I'm sure there'll be a smart guy in the comments somewhere. Look at all that goodness in there. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and grab a piece. Maybe dip it in some of that gravy and try it. Mmm. So right away the buttery crust, that's what you taste. And you get inside, the brisket's nice and warm, uh, the cheese all melty, barbecue sauce is warmed up, everything just comes together really well. And man, this is good. So I hope you guys will give this a try. Um, I'm going to let you go because I, <laughs> I want to eat more of this. Um, but I hope you'll give this a try. Check out my pizza quesadilla video too because that one got a lot of good remarks. And it was an interesting video. A lot of people never even thought about making pizza quesadillas. And I did it out on my Blackstone just like this. Anyway, hey, like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And leave me some good feedback. Leave me some comments. If you like this recipe, if you don't, maybe you'll want to give it a try. Maybe you'll change it up a bit and give me some different ideas. But either way, thanks for watching. Take care.